Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. I'm not sure if you can see, but minus 19 degrees it is currently. Not that I thought it was possible, but today it's managed to get even colder. <laughs> ah, it's good to be back in Petia. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe. I'm a professional goalkeeper and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my attempt to play at the highest level of the game. Welcome back to episode two and welcome back to Swedish quarantine. We are currently on day five of quarantine here in Sweden before I can join up with my teammates from PTA IF for pre-season training. In today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you along for the remainder of quarantine and then hopefully, fingers crossed, for the beginning of pre-season training. I have one more COVID test to do tomorrow. If that's negative, then I should be good to head out and join up with the team. To say I'm keen to get out of quarantine would be an understatement. As you saw in last week's vlog, the flat that I'm in is brilliant, is great, but it's only pretty small and after five days I now know pretty much every square inch of this place inside out. So it'll be quite nice to get back outside soon, even though at the moment it is snowing pretty heavily. Thank you very much for your reaction to episode one. It's been amazing to see the comments coming in. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm as glad that we're back as you guys are. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come and join the Keeping Goals Union. Anyway, the key to quarantine that I've found out so far is to have a good schedule, have a good routine, have a little bit of exercise in there wherever you are, but stick to that schedule and the time goes quickly enough. So in today's schedule, I've got a little bit of editing to do for Keeping Goals Extra, the behind the scenes vlog for you guys who are patrons. I am then on a Zoom call with Johnny. You guys know Johnny, the wizard behind Keeping Goals, because we are recording an episode of the Keeping Goals podcast. But first things first, I need to go for my morning walk. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let's go. So even though I'm in quarantine and I can't leave the house, I can go for my daily walk outside on the balcony. Now I can't spend too long out here because currently it is minus 10 and it's supposed to get colder this week down to about minus 16, minus 17. But as you can see, it's looking beautiful in Petia. Very snowy, but it's important to get outside, important to get a bit of fresh air. So I'm very lucky that I've got this little balcony here to do exactly that. So filming from the phone, because the camera's there, but you might be able to see Johnny if I just change it, because we're filming the Keeping Goals podcast. It's back and it's better than ever with a proper setup. I've even got a nice microphone and stuff. Johnny has told me how to actually set up for something. So it's not me sitting under the duvet recording like I was the first time round. I'll speak to you a bit more about it later because I've got to finish the podcast and Johnny's probably getting annoyed that I'm talking to you instead of to him. So that is it guys, as you can see, we've just finished recording the Keeping Goals podcast. Johnny's involved now, we've got the setup properly, we've got the scheduling properly, so hopefully the Keeping Goals podcast, fingers crossed, is going to be more consistent for you guys, bringing you more value on a more regular basis. You can find it at Spotify and you can find it at Apple Podcasts, so go and have a look, have a listen and let me know what you think of it. But that's it, work done for today, so I think the rest of today... I'm have some tea and then get ready for the COVID test tomorrow. I will probably speak to you then. So see you in the morning. Good morning guys, bright and early, or well, not so bright in Sweden. Sun doesn't come up until about half nine, so it's dark and early, but heading off to the COVID test now. It was absolutely howling with wind last night. So hopefully I don't turn into a snowman on the way. And fingers crossed, it's negative. I'll let you guys know afterwards. Let's go.
We're back. Good news, the test was negative, so the medical center giving me the all clear to finish the quarantine and carry on as normal. So I should be linking up with the rest of the team this afternoon for training, which I am very, very excited about. And as you probably saw from those clips, being outside, great to be back outside again, but absolutely freezing. And the wind was whipping the snow off the floor, straight into your face, you could barely see where you were going. Anyway, the plan for the rest of the day, I've got a little bit of work to do. I'll have some lunch, have a nap. I'm gonna get changed here. We're not using the changing rooms at the minute. I'll get changed here, do my kind of stretching, prehab stuff here, and then walk up to the dome for training, which is very, very exciting. I'm gonna crack on, and then we'll get ready for the first training session of pre-season. Let's go. It's later, as you can see. I've had my nap. I'm about to get ready for training. It's still very snowy and very windy outside, so I'm gonna enjoy walking to training. That should be quite interesting. I'll try and film a little bit of that. But overall, just very excited to get in the first session of pre-season 2021. It's gonna be great fun to be back with everyone. I've missed the lads, I've missed staff. It's gonna be good fun to be back in there and training again. And I'm just excited to get the gloves back on. I'm gonna show you which ones I'm gonna wear, actually. Let me get them out. Very first session of the 2021 season. I think we're gonna wear the green ones. You might have seen these in the session that we did with the Monday GK, but very excited to get wearing these. Right, I need to get changed and walk over to the training dome. Right, we're all set. We've got the training kit on somewhere underneath all this winter gear. Bags there, gloves, boots, ready to go. First training session of the year. Let's go. I've only been walking for about 10 minutes. <laughs> ah, it's good to be back in Petia. Nearly at the dome. Let's go. Literally just got back in. That is proper snow. Very snowy, but great first session back. Really enjoyed it. Ah, woo. Bit of goalkeeping work. Um, I had about 45 minutes, 50 minutes with the keepers, which was class. Just nice to get diving about again, get the gloves on. I had probably about a week without doing any goalkeeping, so to get back in and working again was brilliant. Then we had small side of games. I mean, I say small side of games, it was probably 11 v 11, just on a smaller pitch brought the goals to the edge of each 18 yard box so the pitch was shortened but good to get playing again I mean I was thinking about it and because of lockdown because of the fact that back home in the UK obviously didn't have a team to train with that kind of thing I haven't trained proper football 11 v 11 since we finished the season back in October so felt actually really good had nice to get the ball back at my feet, played some nice passes, kept a clean sheet in both the games, which is a good start. Gonna make some food now, cause I'm starving. I'll have a protein shake first, do a little bit of a cool down, just stretching, and yeah, get some food done. Oh, boom. So for tea, we have, I think you can see, a little twist on an English classic. Fish, potatoes, peas, a little bit of ketchup, in honour of Ben Foster, the Cycling GK. But yeah, very, very glad to be back. Glad to be starting pre-season again. Great to see the boys, great to see the team, the management. Really missed everyone, in all honesty. It's been quite a long time. Obviously, last time I saw them, it was such a high with us winning the league that going away after that, you do miss them after spending so much time together. So really nice to be back with everyone. Nice to see them all, nice to get training again. Wasn't able to get any footage of it, unfortunately, because the dope that I am, I managed to lose my GoPro in Stockholm Airport on the way here. But I've ordered another one and it's on the way. But the team are looking really good. It was a really good session. The quality was good, the tempo was good. We've got a lot of work to do before the season itself starts, but it's a good start. 
So we train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in the evenings. Obviously today's Tuesday, just train tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get into the gym, do a little bit of a kind of, almost a recovery session, seeing as that was my first proper session after quarantine. And then yeah, finish off the week with a couple of more really good training sessions. So overall, really good feeling being back. Really good feeling being back with the team. Everything's looking very, very positive. Right, I'm gonna eat this now and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, we are back. New day, even colder if that was possible. You can see how much snow landed last night. That was probably about up to over knee height and that was in one evening. Unbelievable. I'm not sure if you can see, but minus 19 degrees it is currently. I think that's the coldest temperature I've ever been in outside naturally but it's a dry cold so it doesn't feel too bad especially with about a thousand layers on we've had a little bit of an issue with the gym i don't have my gym pass yet and the gym that we're allowed to go to at the moment as players is quite a long way away and in this snow i'm not going to risk it without a gym card so i need to wait for the gym card before i can get my gym session in so instead this afternoon i'm just going to do stretch foam roll back of the flat anyway i'm going to get moving now because it is literally freezing. So shopping done, got it all there. I'm trying my best to learn Swedish. I'm on Duolingo every day. And I had a new phrase that I used today. Har du frista blåbär? Do you have any frozen blueberries? To which she replies something which I could not understand, but helped me to find them. So, small wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Bibbing dope on flame. I just switched. Not that I thought it was possible, but today it's managed to get even colder. Ready? Minus 26 degrees, which is unbelievable. And I'm going to show you the balcony because a lot of snow. If I open the door. And if I just put my boot in. Whoa. <coughs> wow. That is fresh. <laughs> That's cold. Okay, that is officially the coldest temperature I've been in, without a doubt. And yesterday, the amount of snow that came down actually managed to tear a hole in the dome where we do our training. So, there's a big issue with the dome. They're trying to fix it. They're not sure if they're gonna have to take it down, which is really annoying, but I'm not surprised given how much snow fell Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully, they'll be able to fix it. It means that training this evening, we're training somewhere else, I don't even know where it is. Hopefully it's indoors. Because <laughs> this is a cold one. But hopefully they'll be able to fix the dome and we can continue training as we were before. But yeah, wow. <coughs> I'm gonna go back inside now. Whoa. Don't worry, I haven't gone back in time. Just had a bit of a shave. I was getting very scruffy, apologies. New delivery. As I said, I was an idiot and managed to lose my GoPro in Stockholm Airport on the way to Petia. Tried to contact Lost and Found, no luck. So we've ordered a new one. And here it is. It's freezing cold. <laughs> Time to go to training. Minus 27. Oh, 
Even with the dome damage, we still managed to get in our training sessions. Different indoor space, but good AstroTurf, full-size goals, and thankfully not outside, because I don't think it would have been possible in minus 26 degrees and all that snow. But that's pre-season in Sweden, and I'm very glad that we finally got started with it. Glad to be back, glad to be out of quarantine, glad to be back training with the team again. I can officially say that 2021 season with Petia has begun. This week's Patron of the Week is Andrew Jones. Andrew, thank you for your support. We wouldn't be able to make Keeping Goals without patrons like yourself. So as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goals shout out. You guys can become a patron like Andrew and get loads of bonus content like the behind the scenes vlog that I mentioned at the beginning by signing up using the link below this video. But that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope we managed to bring you some value. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come and join the Keeping Goals Union. I hope you enjoyed having an insight into the beginning of pre-season here in Sweden. I'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. UK time for the next episode of Keeping Goals, as always. But have a great week. Look after yourselves. Stay safe wherever you are. Keep chasing improvement. And I'll speak to you in a bit.